the lymphatic system is responsible for detoxifying our system. People live longer and healthier if they have a community around them. A side effect of lymphatic drainage or face massage is pimples. You're draining the toxins, you're removing them, so a lot of people can get a bit of pimples after the first session. So what is the serum doing? Oh, so the serum kind of you apply a few drops, and I like to do it with a lymphatic drainage, and it like it activates while applying as well, and it leaves you hydrated for super long. Hi, Olivia. Welcome to Dream Again Podcast. Hi, Karina. Thank you so much for having me. It's so funny. We were just taking a lot, a little bit of chit chat before because we actually <laughs> had another podcast before. Um, and you are one of that inspirational person that I look up to. And I'm learning oh. all the time from you. We already had a podcast together that we talk about uh, um, Russia that I'm yeah. completely in love and I'm really using it. But today we are talking about lymphatic drainage. I love it. It's such a it's such a topic now, right? Especially coming more from the body to the face, finally. <laughs> exactly. And is it something because back in time I was not so interested by this topic. Is it mm -hmm. related with the age? But first of all, let's start it with what is a lymphatic drainage and why it is important for facial care. So lymphatic drainage, so we all have a lymphatic system. And, you know, the lymphatic system is kind of responsible for detoxifying our system, remove toxins and waste, also fight inflammation, and kind of help with water retention. So um, lymphatic drainage first, I think, became popular through the Brazilians. Because, you know, in Brazil, every woman goes and does the body contouring. So you can see, like, how they sculpt their tummies and they move the water, they drain, and they get move all the toxins out and the water so they become more sculpted so in essence it's basically to depuff you to help you with like water you know as we age we kind of feel a bit more bloated and puffy so it really is to manually like drain and boost your circulation and drain that that detoxification channel and but how remove, many yeah how many sorry how many lymphs do we have in the body Oh my God. So we have like a lot of lymph nodes and vessels, you know, it's almost like a system that goes all the time for our body. Right. So the, the, the only difference is, you know, we have the blood circulatory system that has a pump, which pumps the blood. The lymph system doesn't have that. So that's where we need to manually activate it. Or, you know, when you exercise, when you do movement, you kind of constantly move and flush out the lymphatic system. So you have nodes where you drain always too. There's a certain method that you need to follow the lymphatic pathways to really make sure that they drain down the right way. But they're like all over you, especially a lot of them in the neck. So we're going to go talk more about the face, etc. Yeah, because basically it's on one side, we have the lymphatic drainage massage for the body, but mm -hmm. as well, we have it for the face. Yeah, exactly. Which we will dive much more um, in yeah. today. The body, as far as I know, and please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a very slow massage, basically. It's not, or is, because you mentioned the Brazilian one, which is more sculpting, yeah. but so, when, I'm, when I'm doing massage in Switzerland, for example, it's almost, I don't feel it, which yeah. I love, in my case, I love to be beaten there. <laughs> you, know, you know, I always hear there's two theories about lymphatic drainage, and honestly, I, I don't know which one is really the accurate one. The Brazilians are actually like sculpting you properly when you do it with a brazilian lady it almost hurts when she goes inside your tummy and you know the way i got taught was also to really drain the face properly you need a bit of pressure to move that lymph right but in europe they kind of teach you to lightly like pump it but i feel like i don't know when i look at the brazilian girls and i see how they look after one session and they really go in there and you see the before and afters i think you can do a bit more pressure okay and um Tell me more about the facial part. So we, as you, you mentioned, we mm -hmm. have a few points yeah. around the neck. So I'm sorry so, for the ones who they cannot hear, but as well, we will have a live and I invite you to follow our Instagram that we can, uh, we can show more as well. Exactly. This part. Yeah. We can actually do a mini lymphatic drainage. Oh, that would be amazing. And so, we can see before and after. So it's important. To, yeah. So when you do the face, it's very important to open up the neck lymph node. So you would gently kind of pump like above the clavicle area and kind of activate it that way. And then you, you kind of go in like rhythmic 
circular motions, starting drowning, drowning the neck, basically draining the neck. Because, you know, for me, like the neck is like kind of like if you think of your face as a flower, your neck is the stem. And, you know, when we don't look after our neck, the face starts to get congested. So you basically need to drain from the neck first and then you go to the ears. You know, in Chinese, in China, the ears are like a beauty secret. So they always kind of pump down the ears, really moving down this lymph juice down. And then they always go down the neck. So I don't know if you follow, you know, Gua Sha in China. In China. They're, they're the best at showing you how they first open up the neck and then they go into the face. You know, they have like a full protocol that they follow. And then you basically move always from the inside of the face towards the ears and you always drain down the neck. And the same thing goes on the forehead, always finishing at the ears where the lymph will drain. So it's always important to know which pathways the lymph flows and uh, the same with the gua sha stone, you know, a lot of people are moving it the wrong direction, doesn't really bring anything. So you need to understand where the lymph pathways are kind of located in the face and neck. Because you basically in. move the toxins, but you don't take them out. Exactly. So you almost need to know where, where they're going to drain from, you know. So the same in the body, they follow a certain kind of, you know, rhythmic motion towards a certain point to drain. The same we do in the face as well. But what... What are the signs that someone might need a lymphatic drainage fa facial in this case? Um, so, you know, I feel like when, when you, when we talk about health reasons, I feel like a lot of people have like a very poor sluggish lymphatic system because they might be fighting some inflammation in their body because, you know, they're got sick or they have some sort of food that they can't digest. So the lymphatic system gets attacked, also acne. You know, a lot of women have acne because there's this bacteria, strep strepto, I forgot what it's called. Streptococcus. When this, exactly. This one attacks the lymphatic system and then it starts eating. So your lymphatic system is too weak to drain the toxins and face all the, um, uh, remove the toxins and the waste and um, remove the bacteria. So you will kind of notice in your face when you start getting dark circles under the eyes and you have kind of, you start getting, you know, a lot of women come to me and they have puffy eyes, a lot of water retention in the face. That is, a, and you know, and often I have to just look at their neck and when their neck is realigned, not aligned basically, but kind of falls like this, you know, the lymphatic system can't really flow properly anymore. So that's why it's important to really realign the neck first and really focus on the neck, the first part of the session to then go and draining the, the face. But yeah, you will kind of see that you have puffy eyes, a dull con a complexion. You're not like kind of glowing and, and puffy, puffy, puffy eyes and puffy face. It's so interesting. I'm very curious to understand because for you, knowing so many details and you are all the time, I know that you are reading all the time and learning all the time. When someone is coming to you, you probably can really understand what she eats without, without, yeah. with, with just looking to her face, right? Yeah, I mean, I can't see what she eats, but I feel like there's so much, you know, like now I'm like learning much more. I'm, I'm taking my knowledge deeper into understanding how emotions manifest in our face. And I spend more time spending on Chinese literature. You know, they, they read they they read kind of the faces and how many how you manifest certain things in your face, because I feel like our face is kind of like the mirror to our soul. And, you know, it says so much. So I don't feel like by first of all, touching the person, I can feel like, oh. They have anxiety or something because I touched so many, but it really shows, you know, what they kind of carry, you know. So I feel like it goes so much deeper than the, than the, the skin is just your largest organ. So it will naturally display what's going on inside. Yeah, that's true. I was really fascinated by this reading I know. from the, the way how the face is looking. If you have like uh, small lips or it's a, it's exactly. a very interesting. <laughs> it's a very interesting. I know uh, I have this like book here, Wisdom of Your Face. It's so I'm, good. I'm it goes into like Chinese face reading, etc. I'm like, I'm, this is like my next project. <laughs> All the time learning. Mm -hmm. how, how often should we undergo lymphatic drainage to see really benefits from it? Obviously, it depends from case to case. But yeah. in, in your situation with your clients... After how yeah. many sessions? I mean, I would think, first of all, you can do it at home. I always teach my clients how to do it at home. If you, if you, if you can do it at home every day, five minutes, it's like amazing. But if you want to come to someone, definitely like twice a month, honestly. 
because you know it doesn't have a pump you really or, or you're someone who's very active and you do yoga you do pilates you do sports then you're always moving it but you will see a lot of people that do sports my clients they have a much more fresh kind of complexion but then we can also go into genetics i feel like 70 percent is genetic some some of us are not so lucky yeah 70 percent so I, much. I, I think honestly i think it's 70 percent but yeah. My opinion is that you can only use and abuse it until, until a certain age. So if you have, if you're lucky with 70% very good genetics, but you really never looked after yourself, like you smoke, you drink, whatever, I think from the age of 50, you will go down very fast like that. You know what I mean? The revenge yeah. will come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In a way, it's better because it's kind of uh, an average then. So if you are taking care, yeah. you can recuperate if your um, DNA is not the best. Yeah, I saw I saw a woman today. Wow, she was 75. She didn't do anything with her face. I was like, can I please come do an interview with you on my Instagram? And I told her, I said, what do you do? She's like, honestly, like I eat well, I sleep well, and I've oh, I always do yoga. I always move my body. Well, there you go. Amazing. I see that as well here because I'm living between Italy, Switzerland, and San Francisco. And it's interesting to compare these three different cultures. Yeah. And I see Italians how um, how at the end of day at the end of the day, I think it's so much about the simplicity to really do simple things, besides yeah. the whole genetic side, just to do simple simple things like eating high quality, doing sport. I know. These guys, I'm telling you, when I'm going even to the gym, early morning or late, it's full with up 60, 70 plus huh? years old guys that they are almost every day there and doing sport and socializing. I mean, here is difficult to live alone, no matter what. Compared with some other other countries, it's so interesting. I know, and I feel like there people are like are, are really big on community. I think I think people live longer and healthier if they have a community around them, and not Absolutely. so much stress. You know, I feel like us in the Western world, we're like we can't even catch each other. You know, so I feel like stress and community, yeah, and good olive oil. Like you see, like people that like <laughs> live in Santorini, like they, they live so long because they they have the best life. So you yes. did the right choice of moving to Italy. I mean, let's wait another, hopefully, I don't know, 80, 90 years. And then I tell you, <laughs> it's yes. another podcast when we will be yeah. 100 uh, plus and we're like, Olivia, how are you? <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Let's go, back. let's go back to our lymphatic drainage because I think it's a very interesting. And this is in my case, and I'm really happy that you accept my invitation. I really um, see huge benefits from uh, from the facial lymphatic drainage i really see my face completely change after that i'm learning to open all these lymphs uh, in the morning um and but as well i think we should really mention that they are um other individuals that they should avoid lymphatic mm -hmm. drainage and lymphatic uh, face uh, massage yeah um, in what cases we should not do that? So I definitely think when you're like, for example, a pregnant woman, you should definitely wait until you're like month four with any sort of like treatments, but that's, I think, common sense. Then I would say if you have severe form of acne, inflammation in your face, you should definitely stay away because, for example, I will tell you the story. I used to have very inflamed skin not inflamed, but like spotty when I was living in London, processed food, traffic, like the, the stress. pollution, stress. And then I did this gua sha lymphatic drainage and I swear my skin broke out because all the toxins were cleared and I was like freaking out. But I feel like in the end, it really cleared my skin. And since then, I never really wear foundation anymore. It's, it's like, so I'm in my back of my head. I'm thinking, did this one time lymphatic drainage gua sha really removed all the junk out of my face? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'll never know. But, but I, I still think, you know, when I have clients and they have like really inflamed acne, like cystic acne, I don't do it. Then also, I feel like when women do so much fillers, I, you know, the lymphatic system also gets kind of clogged. So I have a lot of women that did under eye fillers and they get these like weird bumps. So, you know, wow. you can always drain it a little bit, but, you know, your lymphatic vessels here have been damaged. So the, it's almost like the juice can't really flow properly, right? Yes. 
So that is also a bit tricky, what I saw. And in general, I feel like when you also have your, you know, we have this like C-reactive protein in our body that when it's high, it means inflammation in your body. Then you need to like clear first, cleanse, do fasting, like make sure that this inflammation in your body is clear to not aggravate it. That's what I would oh, wow. say. That's an interesting mm-hmm. point. Yeah. And I, I know as well, obviously, if you have cancer, especially yeah. lymphatic, you really exactly. have to be careful. Exactly. L- lymphedemia. Yeah. Yes. It's something that you have to be careful. Um, how, what is the difference between a lymphatic facial drainage and any other facial um, treatment? Mm, I would say like lymphatic drainage literally means detoxifying your skin, removing waste and toxins deep puffing. So it's almost like a very manual, minimal, non-invasive treatment that is purely responsible to help you deep puff and remove toxins and waste from underneath your skin for a clearer complexion and to get less puffy. So that's the, that's the only goal. Because I read, and I'm curious, what is your opinion that can really even help with the wrinkles, can really reduce some, some of the wrinkles? I mean, I think it will it it will help more with the complexion and the glow because I feel like if you if you drain your toxins, you're you're kind of um, um, boosting your circulation. You're also boosting lymph flow and blood flow. Therefore, your face is gonna look much more fresh and filled up. So I don't think it necessarily will like get rid of like deep wrinkles, but it will definitely make you look way more more fresh. And you touch a little bit the topic about the the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Can we talk a little bit more about what lifestyle we can change or we can improve in order to help our lymph to... Yeah. So I think for, you know, I have this like online course, it's called the seven day facelift course and it starts with the hundred lymphatic jumps. So I feel like every woman should kind of, when she's in her bed, kind of really like do like micro jumps to kind of start moving the lymphatic system. And also... And, you know, kind of manually drain, like for breast health for women to kind of also drain down the armpits. I think that's super underrated. And then um, I don't know if, you know, I had like a massage once with a Chinese lady and she was like, like started really like massaging like my breast in the beginning. I was like, what is she doing? She was like, no, no, we're like, this is important. You know, this is like such an also, you know, to fight breast cancer and to, to really look after the part uh, of your body. So I feel like kind of draining here, the collarbones in the morning and gently like draining and pumping down those lymph nodes. Super important. I love this. Yeah. And it's like this, this it's some, something again, like I would not um, be so interested. I think it's so much age related as well. Yeah. And we talk, sometimes we are texting to each other when we see some common creams or advising each other. I'm very curious. What do you think about can a cream solve Mm -hmm. um, a lymphatic drainage or it's manual manipulation required for true benefits? I think like manual is like the way to go, but there is this, um, you worked with them, Irie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, So I I know them as well. So they they have patented this like the solution, the ingredients. Yeah, they did it in in, uh, Zurich, in the ETH. I think they're like, these guys are serious about, is they basically you apply the cream and it like really helped me with like my double chin because they have these like this coffee extract, whatever. So it really like was working on me. So I think a brand like this, they probably like are very good at it. But other than that, I wouldn't trust any cream except. And now they do even the body. It's so funny. I mean, I'm not paid and I don't think you are paid to mention this in in the podcast too. No, (laughs) but I tried it. And uh, obviously, in my case, I could really see this, um, um, the inflammation. Um, I think it's, I don't know, do you think it's even related with the hormones, all this inflammation that we have in the face as well? Like, for example, yeah, that's a very good question. And, you know, and hormones will start to move out of balance when you don't eat right, when you're stressed. So, yeah, most certain, I would say. I think this will be interesting, but yes, I do. I do. I did see results after a yeah. week of using this cream. Obviously, I'm doing so much. I'm doing facial massage. I'm doing all these. Yeah. So sometimes I have to stop the other ones and see. Is it something else that you would like to add related to our um, topic um, for the facial drainage? 
lymphatic yeah, drainage? I mean, I mean, I kind of, because people always ask me like hands or tools. And I kind of think when you're like a newbie, definitely hands. But when you know how to work a gua sha stone properly, oh my God. Like I sometimes when I do workshops and I teach gua sha, I'm even amazed every time at the results that it gives you instantly. It's it's crazy. <laughs> what do you think about even this, um, how you say, the thing that it's popping? Ah, uh, face cups. Face cups. What do you think yeah. about those? I love them as well. Again, you need to know how to use them and which pathways and where you're kind of going down the face love them but i'm kind of i'm more of a gua sha girl even though they're both amazing just i you know if i could choose i would be like gua sha but how do we know to choose the right um thera therapist to help us into this um yeah. experience with the massage how do how can we choose the right when you person look- and i want to ask you as well sorry but i want to ask you as well for the um facial acupuncture as well because mm-hmm. i get messages from um from my uh friends that uh, they are following my advices and they said i found an amazing studio i just book it but i feel in a way very responsible because i truly believe in acu- facial acupuncture yeah. as well yeah but i am not there to make sure that the the, the, the person who is doing this, it's the right one. So how do we know when we have the right therapist to choose the right therapist? That's a, such a good question because I feel like I'm a professional, so I would know what questions to ask. But I, you're right. If you like, it's almost like, how would I know what, which hairdresser to go? I guess like you see it online and you've, you really someone reviews. Says, yeah, reviews or someone like tells you like, go there, this person is good. Word of mouth. There are some diplomas, I don't know. There are some classes that you need to look for that those people are Yeah, I mean, I think, I think a consultation will say a lot. If someone just, if you book it an appointment and someone's like, lie down and they do it for you without asking you any questions, then it's a bit of a worrying a sign, I would say. So because they need to stand up and leave, <laughs> run. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, they need to know, like, do you have any conditions? Do you have any health conditions? Is there anything allergy on your face, uh, skin products? So I feel like when someone is just like, lie down and I, I'm going to do the job, it's like, mm, I'm not sure. I know. And I remember once I went to a massage and I try, I start to explain to the person what are my sensitive parts and where she should pay. And she actually felt offended and she said, it's okay. I can see it. I can see it on, on, by myself. You don't have to tell me. I was like, I was already like, okay. Yeah. She was kind of taking it personal. Yeah. And I did as well because yeah. I, I felt like, wait a second, is my body, my skin. And I think it's important for everyone who is listening to really double check before, yeah. because it's, I agree. it's your temple and you really have to be careful with that. Yeah. And I will also say um, a side effect of lymphatic drainage or face massage is pimples because you're draining the toxins, you're removing them. So a lot of people can get a bit of pimples after the first session, which is oh. a good sign. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So as we navigate through these topics about beauty, we are also sprinkled in some fun with some series of rap- rapid fire questions for you. Yay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Number one, foundation or BB cream? BB cream. Which you prefer? BB cream. And why? Because for me, foundation, I never know how to apply it. And it makes me, I get pimples after I wear it now. So I actually don't wear anything. But if I had to choose for like a shooting, it would be BB cream. I think it's lighter on the on my skin. My skin t- takes it better. I feel the same. And it's like a right? mask when you have yeah. foundation. You feel right? Like, I feel like I'm hiding behind. Exactly. And, and I think I can't move my face. Everything gets yeah. so like hard. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah. I'm there as well. What is a simple beauty advice you can give for healing from the inside out? Um, sleep. Definitely it starts with sleep and reducing your stress levels. And that will really kind of start um, evening out your nervous system. And I feel like everything, I think good health, your gut, everything starts with, your, with a healthy nervous system. What helps you to have a deep sleep? I mean, I'm lucky. I always sleep pretty well. I just like, I go to bed before 12, I go to bed at 10 and I feel like 
I, I don't know. I feel like I, I managed to have a, you know, I used to have a stressful life in London, living in London. Now that I'm back home, I have such a peaceful, quiet life being around nature. You see, I was in Dubai last week. Oh my God, I didn't sleep there at all because, you know, the city keeps you kind of vibrating. Yeah, For sure. Have you mm -hmm. been, have you been back to London since you had no. this great, no? You don't want to. <laughs> Honestly, I have to go in June with my academy, but I kind of am feeling... Oh, I mean, I'll be very curious to. Yeah. I will be very curious to see how because it's pro, I mean, I'm sure it's a, it's another old Olivia, and I'm sure you will see things different. Yeah, as yeah, well. but definitely sleep environment. Being around nature is the best for sleep. <laughs> I know. I love it. I right. love it as well. If you had to choose three items to take with you to a d deserted island, what will be okay. three items? Can, can I can I pick, can I bring my dog? Is that an item? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, okay. we, we can would, add it as a fort. Okay, I would bring <laughs> like my Ayurvedic toothpaste for sure. Then I would bring the Dalphan Intral Serum. I need something what, for what hydration. Is this? What is Dalphan? The Dalphan. It's it's an um, you know it's a brand that I work with now, and okay. they have this, ah like, yeah yeah. Wait, I think I have it. Yes, yeah, I, I saw yeah. it. Yeah, it's this like I like the packaging. It's very like vintagey looking, but I love I love their. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm very minimalist, you know, so I kind of only pick one place thing, and then I. So will what bring... is the serum doing now that you are telling us? You have to tell us until the end. What so is the... the serum is like you know Dafan like really is very good at picking like very natural active ingredients. So the serum kind of you apply a few drops and I like to do it with a lymphatic drainage and it like it activates while applying as well and it leaves you hydrated for super long. That's why I kind of uh, I really like this. I, uh, I like serums <laughs> more than creams. I know because they are the active. Yeah. Ingredients, right. They are doing the they are doing yeah. the thing. And then I think I would bring yeah, I would bring like a book. I would probably like bring bring this book since I'm obsessed with reading faces now. <laughs> You have to send me the link that I can yes. um, add it as well to our listeners. Yeah. And it's interesting, the first option, the, um, the Ayurvedic toothpaste. Tooth, toothpaste, yeah. It's interesting because I will have uh, as a guest um, someone to talk about, a specialist to talk about how important is our dental health. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, I didn't pay so much attention at the beginning of my life. As oh, I yeah. do now, and especially how important it is to have a clean toothpaste. I know. and I, But, you know, I feel like sometimes I feel like, you know, when if I would say on my Instagram account that I'm using an Ayurvedic, like, fl fluoride-free toothpaste, dentists would be like, what are you doing? You know, there's, like, again, misconception between some people think that fluoride is important to maintain our teeth. I don't know. I'm, like, late, lately into all things very natural. So I'm, I'm kind of, I, I like it. Yes, and I think another very interesting topic about the dental health besides that, and I think everyone has to, to try and see how they feel, but obviously if you are paying attention of eating healthy and clean food, you should pay attention with what you're brushing your teeth as well. But another exactly. important topic is the, the health of your tooth are telling you so much about the total health of your entire body, Crazy. organism and everything around that so it will be super interesting to to learn more about it it's something that i'm completely fascinated because um i never had any problem with my tooth luckily let's say the dna as well but yeah. and my husband as well but my daughter she does and then i correlated with a time in her life which was very stressful at the school and she has she has been bullied and so on so it's very interesting so now i'm digging I'm connecting the That's dots. So and interesting. I'm going to definitely like hear that podcast about yes, the sexual health. This and... is something very, very interesting. And, you know, like, like you said, listen to your body. Your body tells yeah. you all these, all these parts. We just have to listen. But, you know, when we have so much noise, yeah, it's difficult. Okay, I move on. Uh, if you could use only one facial treatment for the rest of your life, what could be and why? I'm very curious. Mm, cool gua sha and acupuncture is the chemistry <laughs> but between those two <laughs> gua sha gua sha, gua sha sure. really 
Yeah, because okay. it, it will drain you. And when you're like, when you drain your lymphatic system, you're like healthy and good. <laughs> okay. I love Gua Sha too. Mm. What's the quickest beauty hack you rely on for a busy morning? Oh, if I wake up puffy and that happens when I, for example, drink the night before I had like salty food, always have a uh, cold spoons, like, you know, teaspoons in the, in the freezer and just like, it's immediately so easy and cheap. Yeah. It you know, doesn't it. cost too much. Yeah. And it's so nice. The cooling effect. Yeah. So now you already told me about your favorite book, which was part yes. of my list. But actually, I want to ask you something related with that. We had the, recently a dinner at our place and we really like all the time to challenge our guests, not to just sit and eat, but to really have some deep discussions. So now related to the book would be a question. If you have to read a book, uh, to write a book about your life from now mm -hmm. on, what will be the title? Oh, wow. About my life? Mm -hmm. but from now on not about your past mm. <laughs> mm. wow now I feel like on the spot hmm. <laughs> no no I don't want just mm. just whatever makes you to mm. I would say mm. I don't know now I feel like very <laughs> <laughs> What would you call it? Tell me. I mean, for me, for me, it was very easy because mm -hmm. um, as I, I reduce a lot my life. So at mm -hmm. the beginning, if you would ask me this question, I would say how to conquer the world, how to do this, how to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> my title will be um, my don my donkey and I. Sorry for my uh, rest of the family. <laughs> <laughs> really that's so cute yeah I'm completely obsessed with donkeys and um, I was all the time all my childhood I was so now I found actually one and uh, that's I I hope mm -hmm. that uh, my husband and my daughter is not uh, jealous but uh, that's something that I want to invest in 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 the future and um, to write I'm it a lot sorry to write your own book no, to have a simple life with my donkey and my family somewhere on the countryside oh, and oh, to oh, just oh. connect with, uh, I don't know about writing a book. Um, it's more about the simplicity because all my life I was just running to prove to others that how perfect I am in order yeah. to get to get love. Yeah. And now, finally, after all these years, I just want to have a simple life on the countryside. Same. I would like to travel. But go back into my my sim simple life. Yeah, with my to back to your essence. Yes, yeah. I just already yeah. visualized that I am back home and I have a somewhere I'm living somewhere on the hill and I already call my donkey, which by oh. the way I already have my donkey and I see my donkey coming. Is that the donkey you, you showed on your Instagram the other day? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my God, that's but your... anyway, let's don't take uh, my donkey is taking over now, even our podcast. So let's <laughs> leave it. Let's leave it to the book part. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, but anyway, if you don't have a title, you can just uh, share with us maybe on the live. Yeah. Yeah. I will think about it. I promise. Think, about, think about and um, let's, let's move it to the second part. And like this, we can invite our um, listeners as well to follow us on uh, Instagram as we will have a live next week. Okay. I mean, depends when you are listening to the podcast, but uh, we can um, we can explain even more how to do the, um, the facial Perfect. Um, Perfect. massage. Looking back on the challenges you've overcome, what's one piece of advice you would give to someone who is struggling to find the courage to dream again? Mm like let it go let it flow I always like this kind of saying and I feel like for me the minute I kind of like stopped holding on tightly to an idea of a goal and kind of really like accepted the circumstances for what they are like an amazing opportunity just like showed up because I was more seeing like around me you know what I mean so I feel like sometimes we're so stuck on that's what I want to do and it really is so easy to access if we kind of relax a bit more and like let it kind of come to us. I so now I don't do anything with force anymore. I kind of, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm very different now than 
when I first started. And you trust. You trust in the process and in the universe that everything will... Things when don't they don't they, when if they don't work out, I'm not even upset. I'm like, okay, something else will come. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, it's such a beautiful reminder, right? Olivia, where can we find you and tell us more about the academy? Oh. And you mentioned the podcast as well, so tell us more where yeah. we can follow you and um, and well, learn more Insta- about you. My Instagram, like you know, you, you have right, Olivia. But Shui. tell us, tell us again. I will make sure to edit, but just yes. Tell us. So, so my Instagram is my first and last name, Olivia Schmidt, reverse your age. And um, yeah, I kind of like showed like my techniques there. And like I launched, um, when we did our last podcast, I launched my academy, which, you know, like I kind of trained like beginners, total beginners, osteopaths, uh, even dentists wow. in the Bacal massage now in like the non-invasive facelifting massage techniques. And this year I also kind of stepped outside my comfort zone because I'm a severe introvert and I kind of started doing live training. So now I'm going to be in, I was just in Dubai. I'm doing them in Vienna where I live. I'm going to be in New York. I'm going to Shanghai as well. So yeah, I'm kind of forced, Amazing. forcing myself outside my comfort zone. <laughs> and I saw New York as well. Is New York happening? Because yeah. we are having a... Uh a group of uh, friends that they are listening. From I'm going to be there in April 22nd to 27th. So we can just follow your Instagram and yeah, get it's all, all the there. information. It's all, all there the dates. And what yeah. about the podcast? Am I doing a podcast? You said that uh, I would love to interview uh, la- the old lady for my podcast. Oh no, but it's not for my podcast. It's just like kind of, you ah, know, just like an idea because I was like, yeah, Olivia, I wanted to, okay. Maybe no, no. this is a sign. Maybe yeah, this is a sign that you should think about it. Yeah, because no, you but have now, so many know-hows. Yeah, exactly. But I feel like podcast is not it's not calling me yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Right? You never know. <laughs> you never know. Just you know, like be open. The universe will exactly never make mistakes, and we just have to trust. Thank you so much, exactly. Olivia. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Krina. I can't wait.